Scorpio. Okay, so this has to do with like dreams for you. And it also has to do with, you know, intuition. And I feel like you can trust your gut and you can go with your intuition on this. You know what I mean? Uh, your seventh house is actually Taurus. So it might have to do with something that deals with work or it has to do with something that you feel intuitively that you should uh, incorporate with work. Um, maybe you might want to purchase something that has to do with enhancing your work. And this is saying that you can go along with that thing. It might even have to do with like some kind of investment in some kind of way. Um, because, you know, your seventh house is Taurus, but cancer for you, it trines you. So this is talking about flow, harmony, adjustments, you know, uh, receptivity, that kind of thing and, uh, allowing, right? So what are you allowing yourself to move forward with here? I like that. Yes. The three of wands. This is waiting. People say waiting for your ships to come in, but, um, it is. Is this Sun and Aries? Okay, so this is Sun and Aries and it is going for it. You know, it's saying, go for it, do it. This is what this tells me. And then it also is connected to um, the Queen of Wands because she's connected to the threes, the Empresses, right? So like I said, uh, allowing, receiving, you know, um, and it also is talking about what you have invested your time into, you know? So it talks about what you might deserve as well, okay? So you deserve something. You deserve to go forward towards it, you know? Okay, teaching and learning. What is this? Uh, keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others, right? So the chariot has to do with teaching. It has to do with uh, leadership skills, that type of thing. Uh, the Three of Wands has to do with, you know, putting the time into that, right? You could be teaching people, right? They could be learning from you, right? Um, right. So you could be putting something together, some kind of course of learning or teaching and learning. And people could be doing that. Uh, it could be dem dem demonst dem Demonstrative? Is that how you say that? Demonstrative? Anyway. Um, and it kind of is like seeing the possibility with something. You're starting to see where, like, you can actually... some Something has been made possible, right? You see where it's, it's, it's doable. It's very much possible and doable. And you're going to go ahead and keep going for this new thing, right? Because you had to make some kind of, like, adjustments in the past. Or you planted some seeds, right? And uh, the seeds that were planted are actually starting to grow in some kind of way. So you're starting to see growth and change in it, right? But it wants you to keep an open mind, right? Because you're being taught by the universe and it's, it's, it's teaching you things as you're going and you're learning it so that you can start putting two and two together and start uh, uh, mounting the puzzle pieces at 333. All right, like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, follow me on Instagram, my profile <laughs> is Providence Tarot and my personal account is NYC Kendrick. You can DM me there if you want to get a personal reading or you can email me at Providence Tarot Kendrick at gmail.com. Bye.